Hey there, welcome back to Magic Stringworks. So today on the workbench we have this Fender Duo Sonic short scale guitar. They're pretty cool. As I mentioned in the short video I made the other day, the owner dropped this off a few months ago. We were looking for a new bridge. He wants to change this bridge into like the Telecaster style. So I was able to find one finally. Wilkinson. So I looked on Amazon, the Music Lily store, and they had this bridge. So this is one of these small Telecaster bridges. A lot of times they're used when you have a humbucker in the bridge location. So it's pretty close. Might have to modify the pickguard a little bit, but we'll get into those details. So stay tuned. We'll get going on this thing. So these Duosonics are pretty cool little guitars, so they're short scale, so it's 24 inch scale, not 25 and a half like a standard Fender would be. This one has a single coil and a humbucker, three way switch, volume and a tone, which is also a coil split here for the humbucker. Cool little guitar, string through body, maple neck. Nice. Alright, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take these strings off. So we're going to do a setup on this guitar after we change out the bridge. And the owner, let me adjust that, the owner has uh, requested nines, which are the same strings that are on there now. So we'll take these off. And We'll see how that new bridge slots into the space that's there already. <laughs> I think we'll have to do some modification for sure. So I'm going to cut these off since they come through the body. A lot easier <clears throat> to pull them through. Just grab them there. I think I got one more, right? First string. There we go. Cruise off the bench. Then we'll get everything off the uh, tuning pegs. So I've zoomed in really close here on the bridge. Let's clean some stuff up here. So with these saddles, I can't get at the screws <laughs> holding the bridge in place, right? So I need to back them off. So we can expose the screw head. Stop spinning around. I'm kind of hoping not to have them just fall right out here. I think I can get that one. I should be able to splay it, yeah, like that. Oh, that should be good now. See how tight these are in there. Oh, pretty good. So this bridge only has three screws, and we'll see the new bridge a little different. I believe it has four. Sorry if all you're seeing are my fingers and my hands. And one more. <clears throat> I've been fighting this cold for a few days. Go away on holidays for a week, come back, get a cold. Stuck on a plane for three and a half hours, right? <laughs> or more. Probably what it is. Okay, last screw. Now I'm expecting a ground, that's good. Okay, so there's the original, or the one that's on there, I should say. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I like these because, of course, uh, you have six individual saddles, so intonation is a lot better. But, people like Telecasters. So this saddle from Wilkinson is really nice. Brass saddle, so the bridge, I should say, from Wilkinson. Brass saddles. They're compensated as well, so it tries to help 
with intonation. You can see the takeoff points are put further back, right? So it helps a little bit. Now, I measured this and it's a little bit wider than the opening of the, you can see in the pickguard. You know, it's maybe a millimeter, two millimeters at the most, a millimeter and a half. So what I'm gonna have to do is widen this pickguard a little bit. But before I do that, I wanna take a couple of more measurements. So I put a piece of tape here on the pick guard and I'm going to measure 24 inches from the face of the nut and that will give me a reference just as I'm lining things up and having a look at it. So just, you know, get a mark there, 24 inches. So that's going to give me an idea and I'll make, you know, a rate even 24 inches. So that's the scale length. So that's twice the distance from the 12th fret and it's the full distance from the face of the nut. So now when I take this bridge and I've backed off the first saddle a little bit, about an eighth of an inch or so, you know, about three millimeters, just so there's room to go forward as well. And what you want to do is when you're lining this up is where the takeoff point on the saddle is, that's where your scale length should ideally be. So I'm just going to eyeball it just looking, so sort of there. Now I can look, <clears throat> excuse me, now I can look at where the location of these holes are. So I'm kind of hoping that, I'm just going to use a pencil, and again I haven't lined this up perfectly, I'm just having a look. I'm hoping that the location of these holes is into some fresh wood and once we do this modification the owner can actually take this off and put the original bridge back on without you know any holes so yeah that looks pretty good so here's one here's another this one yeah it's in between the two and there so and these are the string through holes. These aren't the screw, these are the mounting screw holes back here from the original bridge. So, you know, I'll be careful here getting close to there. But yeah, it should be fine. So I think this would be totally reversible, <laughs> which is kind of cool, I think. All right. So what I'm going to do next, so next step. So I don't need this anymore. I was just using that to you know, check and see a layout, a rough layout. So what I need to do now is remove this pick guard and then file back these ears right here so that our bridge can slot in there. Kind of nice if it was really tight, eh? Like just really right on it. So I'll just, you know, take a little bit off each side, sneak up on it. Alright, I have all the screws out, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I miss one. And I'll lift that up. Now the owner did mention that he thought he had an issue with this switch a little bit. Maybe intermittently wasn't working, but hmm. I'll have a look at it here. Check all the solder connections. Everything looks good. pretty tightly in there so maybe I'll tighten it up and clean it with a little contact cleaner but other than that I think we're good okay so I really have to you know just shave back a little bit on each side so I'm gonna use some files and before we go anywhere I'm just gonna put this down Now I have these little files and these are nice, they work well. They don't take a lot of material off. So 
you know, you can just sort of go at it slowly and then check as you go, right? So do a bunch on that side and then come over here and do the same thing now. I can see it's not really taking off a lot, so I might have to go to something a little more aggressive. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'll be here all day, you know? And I'm thinking I might actually, hmm, I might actually just desolder. We have, what do we have here? We have just the bridge ground. Oh, I don't even, ooh, do I want to pull that through? Yeah, that's okay. I should be able to get that through there again. There we go. And I guess this is easy. I'm just going to take this ground screw out. Look at that. Okay, well, that made it easy. Put this back here. And I'm just going to take the ground screw and put it in there so I don't lose it. Oh, well, we have this. What does it say on the back here? So this is the bridge pickup. R-O-H-S compliant. Pickups BHK. Neck pickup BHK. Okay, so we need to file this out. I'll probably move the body and just have this on the bench. All right, so just for reference, Gonna take out the old digital calipers and I'll put it into millimeters. And I'm gonna measure this bridge sort of at its widest point here. So we're about 77.17, 77.17. Push that through again. Yeah, just over 77. Oh, about 77 millimeters, so I'll just lock that in place. And then I'll check here, and yeah, we're just a little bit large. So let's measure this. So this opening here, 75.38 millimeters. So about 1.6 millimeters that we need to take off which is about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, well, I'm gonna get sanding. I'm just switching over to a little sanding stick I made. It's pretty a little more aggressive grit here. Take away a little more material, a little faster. See, so yeah, I finished up with sandpaper and I've got, yeah, so it's going right up to, you can see there, yeah, about a quarter inch away from the front of the pickguard, which is just fine. So I think uh, we'll try this. So I'll put the pickguard back on the guitar body. But first, I'm going to uh, just clean this here with some spray contact, uh, electrical contact cleaner. It could be a little dirty, that's what uh, the owner wasn't sure of there. Oh, I made a mess. <laughs> it's okay, this stuff doesn't harm anything. Get that in there and I'll work that switch back a bunch of times. Looks like a decent switch though. Not a bad switch. Sometimes these are really cheap looking, but no, this looks pretty good. Alright, let's get this back on the guitar body. Okay, so we're going to put this back on. Don't forget to put the ground screw. <laughs> Get that on. This is a great feature. So it looks like we're painted up here too with conductive shielding paint, which is nice. Get that in there. And grounding to the body like that is great. I wish uh, all guitars would do that. Not all of them do. They really should. 
Okay, I got that in there. Now I need the bridge ground, which is right here. I need to fish that through and you know, famous last words, I said, oh, it looks like it'd be pretty easy to get through there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh, it's going. It was going. Keep going. Come on. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes it's a real pain in the butt. So I like to uh, actually like to tape these down with some, you know, conductive tape here. So I've got some aluminum tape that I know is conductive. Take just a little piece off here. And just a little piece like that. Fan this out and, and I might move it back a little bit because the new bridge, you see where my holes are. Will it cover it? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to move it back. Actually, I'm going to put it right back in the slot right there. It's already a little groove, like a little route. I'm not sure why they just didn't sit it down in there. So I'll just put that on. I like to do that so it doesn't pull out and you know you sort of guarantee that you're gonna get that contact that you need. Okay. Okay, back back on she goes. Get all the wires in there. Nothing pinched. Get it sitting. Nicely. So now we've got it here, and just for the hell of it, we're going to check, right? Do I have enough taken off, right? That's what I have to look at. It's close. Hmm, I think it has to go up more. Let's measure this. Mm, yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Well, and that's why we test fit things. So I'm going to have to take off a little more and I might actually have to round off these little corners here a little bit. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so after a little more fiddling around with some files and sandpaper, sandpaper, <laughs> I'm going to put this where I had my marks on the body. 24 inches is pretty much right there, so that's good. So we've got just enough and it fits right in there. Okay, I'm going to screw down the pick guard and that'll give us a better reference. Alright, so I put back the 24 inch mark and I can see where that is, the bridge. And I'm also, there's a line, like a witness line from the old bridge. I'm not sure if you can see that. So, you know, just sort of using that, the front edge of the pick guard. But as long as we have that first string at 24 with a little bit of play each way, we should be just fine. Yeah, I might even be able to pull this back just a little bit. Again, never know about the intonation. So I'm going to pull that first string saddle back just a touch. And see if we can still get up there yet. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now, I'm going to line this up. Alright, so I've made, uh, I've just marked where the two outside holes go, and then with my awl, I'm going to just make sure I get right in the middle of that circle. There we go. Same over here. Wow, that finish is really soft. <laughs> it sort of just pushes in. Okay, so for this type of thing, you don't want to drill out the size of hole that you need right away. What I'm going to do is, this is a 16th inch drill bit. And I'll just, I'm just going to go, first of all, backwards, reverse. And 
and that just you know hopefully will prevent uh, any sort of tear out in the finish. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'll just double check here. Alright, so the screws that come with it, they're like a number six uh, Phillips head. So I'm going to use a 330 seconds drill bit. And again, I'm going to go backwards, reverse first. So that scores like the finish. You can almost drill the whole the hole that way. That way, the the you know the sharp edge of the drill doesn't catch the poly and sort of spin it out sometimes. I'm going to go slow on the drill speed. Now I'm not putting any tape or anything here because I'm not going to go deep. Now I can use the other hole as a guide, you know, <laughs> if I wanted to. You can see how deep it will go down, but yeah, we don't need to go that deep. Alright, okay we'll get these two holes done so we can line up the bridge nicely and we'll do the other the other two. Of course if you're worried about drilling too deep, right, <laughs> just take a sharpie and just mark, like this is nowhere near as deep, you know I could go deeper but I'm just being, you know, on the safe side. The right, bridge is screwed down, I'll take this tape off and Check and make sure we didn't blow through the back. <laughs> Everything's good. Okay, we're gonna put some nines. So nine to forty-two Dedarios. So the client had on there before and has requested to put on again. So one thing I want to point out with this bridge versus the original bridge. So let me get the original bridge out here, right? So original bridge, of course, has six individual saddles makes it a lot easier to intonate <laughs> as any guitar tech will tell you but not everybody likes that especially on a Telecaster right you want to have that Telecaster look there we go Oop, come on it's a nice bridge I mean they're all stamped fender all the saddles so I pointed out to the owner that the string spacing seemed to be about 52 millimeters on the original bridge, maybe a little more than that. On the new bridge, it's about 54. So that means that the strings will not pass directly over the pull pieces. And he's okay with that. It's fine on the neck, it'll be okay, but. Um, He's aware of that and he's okay with that. Again, you wouldn't notice that like on this single coil because there are no pull pieces that are exposed. But you might see that on the humbucker. I'm suspecting they might be just the outside edge of the pull piece, but we'll see. The other difference with this bridge is that it's only, well in this case, we're only going to be able to top load because the holes to go down through the body don't line up with this bridge versus this bridge. So we're going to top load and again the owner is happy with that. He prefers that to string through. Alright, so let's get some strings on this thing. The only thing you want to be mindful of when you're top loading is keep the string off the body. Use your hand, your finger you know, don't drag the ball end along the body. There we go. So I'm just going to pull that one through. Now, sometimes you can, if you want, you know, put something under there. Here's a card. It happens to be from Solo Music. <laughs> and, but that's, that, you know, the ball end might mark up the uh, body anyways over time. 
see I just bent that string back up a little bit so you can get it up and through. Alright, we'll do the rest. Okay, well we're strung up, we're tuned up, and I'm going to stretch the strings a bunch, then do full setup and that, but that's going to be it for this video. I really just wanted to show how we changed this bridge and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The string spacing actually, because we're, you know, we have Telecaster saddles here. I'll bring the camera in a bit. You know, you can move the strings over these saddles and we're right over the pole pieces, perfectly aligned. So there's no issue there. Looks really good too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you like this bridge instead of the original one? I think it looks nicer, obviously brass and that. But uh, I think this is going to be fun. I know the uh, owner should enjoy it. So thanks again for watching. And uh, I know the owner's been waiting a while for this guitar, so he'll be happy to get it back. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like it. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.